What's up guys, today we're going to talk about RV refrigerators because I think I need to replace this thing and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to replace it with. And why am I selling this? This is a huge fridge, okay? It has an ice maker up here, it has a freezer, it has, I mean this section, it's, it's massive, it's 5 foot tall. It's amazing, but guess what? It takes about $35 to $40 a month of propane to run this thing. Okay, that is a lot of money, especially for full-time off-grid in the city living. That is a lot of money. I could run off of solar with the AC, but it's 440 watts continuous. That is a lot of power. Okay, that's like one-third of an air conditioner. So what should I replace this fridge with? So I calculated the power consumption, the total power consumption of ARB fridges, Dometic 12 volt fridges, um, 12 volt RV fridges, three way fridges that work with propane AC and 12 volts. I looked up the 12 volt power consumption and I looked up every single Dometic fridge. And something that I noticed is that those chest freezers, the common 12 volt ones, are not that big in capacity. And if you compare it to a dorm fridge, like those cheap 100 to 200 dollar ones you can buy at Walmart or Best Buy, the power consumption is about the same for the size. So if you look at a 50 quart ARB fridge, it's like I forgot the cubic feet, but the power consumption for that size is no different than a dorm fridge. But the dorm fridge is an AC, okay? So that means that you're going to have to run the fridge off of an inverter. And the inverter is going to cause a 20% loss on average. So you guys might be thinking, oh, Will, that's a bad idea. Why would you want to have a 20% loss with something that's running all the time? And then I thought, okay, if, if a fridge that's 12 volt is, is about $1,000 and I can stick a dorm fridge in here that's, that uses 20% more power, guess what? That $800 that I'm saving, think about how many more solar panels I could put on the roof of this vehicle. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick a dorm fridge. It's going to go to about right here. It'll have a freezer section and a regular refrigerator section, probably a three cubic feet one. Um, the back is vented already, so it'll fit and everything will work nicely. And that's the plan. I would like to hear what you guys think though, because I have never used a dorm fridge. I know a lady in San Jose that has a dorm fridge in her RV and it works fine. And I thought that she didn't have enough power because she only has one 100 amp hour battery and she only has like 250 watts of solar but she said that she's never run it down even in the winter and i'm like what that's amazing that's crazy and she has all this all of this capacity in her fridge so yeah that's what my plan is also it's gonna have its own dedicated inverter and i'm gonna have to mess with that and try different things we'll see what happens with that but yeah let me know what you guys think i think that this is a great way to save money because of those fridges man i don't want to spend a thousand dollars it is crazy. And the refrigerant is the same in the new ones with the compressor. So I'm like, the only reason the 12 volt is more efficient is because of the last 20% because of the inverter. And then, then you have to change it back over to DC probably. But it might have an AC motor in some of these. So yeah, it's it, I just don't understand it. You save $800 and you can upgrade your solar power system and run two fridges. I mean, you could stick two dorm fridges right here i mean that that would work amazing and it also is a standard size it's two feet wide so yeah it just makes total sense let me know what you think talk to you later bye